Hey guys, what is up? It's Connor Botts here, and today we're going to be talking about the Wiggler tool and some cool effects we can create with the Wiggler tool. Um, you can actually shake your footage and make it look kind of like an earthquake is happening, or you can use it specifically on like bass hits for music videos, or if you're doing an action film, you can put it right at the explosion and make it feel like you're right in the action. So here's an example of what I did with it. And you see it shook right there, and he's like, whoa, what was that? All right, so let's jump into this and get started and show you guys how to do this effect because it is super simple. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your footage and then, like I said, you're just gonna place it in. So here's my regular footage. And these are just black bars that I have from this adjustment layer. All right, now you're gonna find the spot, the spot, <laughs> the spot where you want the effect to be. So we're gonna start here, you're gonna go into P for position and stop watch it and then go to the spot where you want it to end so we'll have it end right here stop watch it you're gonna select both of them and you're gonna go down to your wiggle, wiggler tool now if you don't have it down right here just click window wiggler it'll pop up now what you have are some options here so you're gonna want to leave it at apply to spiral path and your noise type to smooth uh, or you could actually do jagged. You know, we'll do jagged. That gives that kind of like rocky feeling because it's well, earthquake. So keep all dimensions independently. And now you can mess with the frequency. Usually it starts at five, but I've already been messing with it a little bit. So I'm gonna bring the frequency down a little, yeah, a little, and leave the magnitude. So magnitude is gonna be the amount that sh how much it shakes all around, and frequency is like how much it does it instead of like slow shakes or a lot of shakes quick and then all you do is while since you have those two positions selected you hit apply and it adds it pretty cool right it's a little long but you still notice something wrong look at that oh no the footage is moved off the screen what do you do simple fix you're gonna type in motion tile you're gonna grab it put it on the footage you're gonna check mark mirror edges you're gonna put your output height at, at least 180 and your width at 180 now if you're doing a lot of shaking like more than like a hundred I don't know why you would need to but for those crazy people out there then you would need to go a little higher than that but that is it and that solves the issue just let it render out And there you go, you guys. All right, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And like I said, just comment what kind of tutorials you want us to cover, and we'll do them. And like always, like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you next time.